Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Today, I'm joined by Bragg from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. I appreciate the vocal consistency of Jake's voice. Well, you can count on it being loud. Yeah, last week, we it was weird because at the start of the podcast, we were like low tone and then by the end of the podcast, we were high. It really messed with like my ability to to edit the audio. So I apologize well, that the audio I'm was messed up last week. I'm bringing consistency this podcast with volume. Uh, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, let's start with you, Bragg. Uh, testing shit all week for... Um... He tested like five different decks. Yeah. Am I speaking to Bragg or Kurt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to play a version of Snake Eyes at YCS, but I just... Without Bonfire, it seems like... It just seems bad. It just seems bad. And that's the thing, it's so it's like, okay, so then you have to switch to a deck that doesn't have it. And then that still seems bad. I'm wondering if sh- Poo Snake Eyes is still better than... Is Snake Eyes without Bonfire still, is the rest of the deck better enough than the rest of the format? Like, I'll lose a mirror happily. Like, a lot of the times I find that, like, Snake Eyes is just kind of like... Oh, the... What's the card? Bonfire. It's just kind of like an extra playing through a hand trap card. Yeah, and it, which I've got the, the scrap engine to make up for that. So yeah, go into Banshee, any rank fours. I just thought there were more rank fours. I really wish they didn't hit circular. <laughs> this would have made it all easy. <laughs> Brag over in the corner. Why did you hit this card? It hurts my random exes dick. <laughs> I just yeah. want to make a rank four. <laughs> that's that's all I wanted a four. My poor Spriggan's dick. <laughs> <laughs> And then I've uh, been playing a lot of the Master Jewel um, 2004 time trial. Yeah, we'll get to that. <clears throat> ben. Me. Um, okay, Tuesday night. How did locals go? I think I went X1. I think? I don't know. Um, I don't remember. I think I went X1. I don't know. Did who, I? Well, who won? I don't know. How can I tell you? I wasn't there. Well, I didn't yeah, win, so there, I must have won so X1. Were... You could have just made it up. I no one else still credit I have. Completely forgot about that part. Hmm. Not at all. Thinking. Anyway, uh, so today was OTS champs. Mm. Um, I came second. You did. Uh, sad that I lost the final. Ah, it's fine. There's only so much you can do when your opponent opens different hand traps and you open same hand traps. Yep. I was like, uh, Ash, Ash, something. I hate double Ash. Yeah, I was like, hmm, that sucks. Uh, but yeah, it was fine. Uh, the whole tournament, the deck performed very well uh round one against jesse i lost game one he like opened like all right and then i like resolved my first search and i'm like no i don't think i actually break this so i just went next game put in all the best deals. oh so you like summoned an ash did a search and you're like you know what no no, no. I, I diablo star and he's like diablo star is fine and i'm like looked into my deck and <laughs> the rest of my hand is hand traps that were all just the same hand trap that i used to stop you so uh, I don't think I get past this mirror jet. Uh, <laughs> I passed. Uh, well, I didn't pass. I scooped. And then put all the bestials in. The bestials came in clutch. Uh, Econ's been putting in work for me. We put in work today. I've been testing it out in my side deck. Uh, against Branded, I played two Branded matchups, Jake and Jesse. And it came in huge in that matchup. Uh, specifically because I opened it and a bestial. So I could bestial to disrupt and then Econ away. So like against Jesse, I opened Magnum at Econ. So I was like, oh, sweet, I'm not getting puppet locked. So like, I magnum at him, he passed, like, searched the Lebellion, or searched the Druus Worm, and then on my turn went, uh, Econ, that, take the Mirror Jade. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, and yeah, did the same thing against Jake, except they didn't resolve the, uh, the best you'll just hit the board. Yeah. Hey. It, it just ate the hand trap that was going to stop me. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, lost the final. It was okay. Good event. <laughs> pulled insane from my packs so I can't complain Jake how did your tournament go? not great uh, so yeah uh, wasn't in Tuesday or in fact Sunday hence my uh, absence from the podcast I was uh, getting a tan so I don't look like a ghost anymore yeah I had to put the, the lights to a wider light just so that to we re- could see you to oh, reflect yeah. I was wondering yeah. why I was feeling weird yeah we're <laughs> under a white light today yeah and by orange up above orange thank up god, above thank god iPhones can white balance if this was a premium live event, we would look blue. Yes. If only this is a 
Barely. I'm blue. Da, ba, da, da, da. Well, you're not. You got a tan. <laughs> I'm tan. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, today, yeah, OTS champs um, didn't go great. Um, <clears throat> so one game one against uh, Fire. I think something outside just exploded. Well, the cops uh, are out there with a homeless guy. Oh, mm. a homeless man has exploded. Shots fired. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, Fire King Snake Eye was my first matchup. That, oh, sorry, take that back. Fire King Tri Brigade was my first matchup. Uh, that went fine. They have lots of super poly targets, so I had a lot of fun. Um, he also didn't fully understand how Puppet Lock worked, um, so that was also fun to try and explain. Well, you see, <clears throat> no. Well, no. like, he got the Puppet... He then activated the island and popped the puppet to search and then went to try and do the things. So I was like, no, no. Whole turn. Not just while it's there. Yeah. Um, so I won that. Uh, game two was against you in which, yeah, uh, many, many hand traps plus one card combo kind of fucked me. Yeah, whenever you didn't have a hand trap to stop me, I was like, oh. Which isn't often oh. because you can't play that many hand traps in Brandon. Okay. Uh, it just when we tested the other night. I got mercilessly destroyed because my hands were like out of garbage and Jake was always like hand trap. I had a hand trap. I had a hand trap. Yeah, in like the entirety of the hand traps I played, I opened all of them against you yeah. and somehow still got to combo, um, which is rare. Um, then third game was against uh, Jesse. That was a mirror match. Um, and yeah, I'm just more across the branded matchup than he is. So uh, yeah, pretty much had him covered he didn't know to brand it in red uh on the puppet huh you know when you branded in red the puppet huh oh, don't worry jake it's, i'm too what big you... brain for you and clearly yeah uh and then the last two games uh one was uh viking oh sorry i keep saying viking snake, snake eye man. pure yep um got dumpstered and then uh versed flu in the last round against andrew and also got dumpstered um, I'm really not enjoying the format. Um, I would love to be able to play Snake Eyes, but I don't have the stuff. Or rather, I have half the stuff, but it, I don't have half the stuff. It's complicated. Um, and then any other deck, unless you can also play 15 hand traps, just loses. Run Povo one with me. I've got a spare Banshee. I'd, it would be super Povo because I don't have oh, you the don't stuff. Have the he doesn't have, have the Snake well, Eyes I'd, part. He has the wanted part. No, no, I, have, snake eyes. I have most of the snake eye stuff. Yeah. It's just the other stuff. But I don't physically have my wanted. So it makes it very hard to play. I don't have them. Um, but anyway. Not sure what I'll end up doing for YCS. At this point, it is just becoming like a weekend away to uh, get drunk uh, somewhere else. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. The wonder is right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Could call. <laughs> He's calling south for the winter. That's not how it works. That's west. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know what, this winter, I want to be colder. <laughs> I want to be the exact temperature I am now. My head west. <laughs> Just somewhere else. <laughs> this is the wrong location for cold. Um, so yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do for YCS. At the very least, uh, between or outside the hours of YCS, there will be drinks in my hand. Can I interest uh, you in of goblins, that, sir? Uh, you can interest me in goblin deez nuts. <laughs> He's gone. He went for it. <laughs> uh, we have fun here. Um, yeah, and then Master Duel um, again was away, so I wasn't playing too much while I was away, but then also played uh, the Rewind event. Uh, and yeah, the uh, season's just reset. Um, I've already gone past. Playing the... ranked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I already got my mate now, um, so that's good. Also, I thought you said you liked the idea of, like, Snake Eyes being at full power. Yeah, but I can play GOAT format. I mean, for a little while. Well, it's not at full power. It doesn't have I've been pass. solely going through the battle pass playing GOAT format. Yeah, that's the same. I'm, up. I'm at, like, 80 yeah, I'm... On, the, on the battle pass, and I've just been playing GOAT format. Yeah, <laughs> it's only been live for a couple of days. Yeah. How much GOAT have you been yeah, playing? We've been playing quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> 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 There's a few hours last time. 
yeah. few hours this morning. Watch them just make, <laughs> based on just the hours of like normal people playing, plus you two just relentlessly going, that's, moff, moff, moff. Yeah. That's the, that's the theory behind it. That's why I'm playing so much of it. Because I'm like, if they see the stats to, that show people are playing a lot of it, they might make it a regular thing. Uh, but yeah, um, as for what we're talking about, uh, we'll move on to some news. Uh, so Master Duel currently has what they're calling the Time Travel 2004 format. I didn't cover uh, where this last basically, week. it's a rewind. Huh? I chose not to cover this last week because it said Master Duel. Yeah, I know. You didn't week. talk about any Master Duel news. I liked yeah. it. I liked it a lot. Um, so yeah, um, full rewind back to 2004. Although, as far as I know, other than like the drawing for turn, which I quite liked, mm -hmm. um, it was still based on current rule sets. Like yeah. they didn't errata cards. No. Correct. It's just a and still sucks well it's, it's all right yeah you just gotta not use it on the next turn yeah uh and then what else oh uh, i mean no, no priority, priority. Yeah, it's is what it yeah. makes makes bottomless a lot better <laughs> yeah yeah i've been bottomless a few times i'm like oh it's oh but there's other times you just read it can't bottomless gins though so, so my biggest issue with this event is that for some reason 80% of the player base has decided I'ma just play burn and I'm just like okay, okay like I don't, don't don't get me wrong I played burn in 2005 like I'm not gonna be against you for playing burn but guys what are we doing here we have you can't disparage how people wish to rewind to their youths they just don't have mystic mind anymore in the uh, level limit area B ooh yeah. Gravity bind? Ooh. It's so easy to play. Nightmare on the wheel? Phone. Ooh. Like, it is the easiest <laughs> game to play on the phone at the moment as well. Mm. Like, and it's just, and it's probably like all the formats in my head, so I was just like, mm, like, mm, like I, oh, it's so good. I played that many burn stall decks that I just assumed it was a structure deck. Yeah. And I checked the structure decks and was like, oh, it's not. Mm. Oh, I'm just, I've, I'm just, just going out of their way. Eight of my last 10 matchups have been that matchup. The only other Sick. thing is too is it's probably a case of like to build like the full goat deck that you wanted from back then would cost a lot to craft. They're all SRs. No, I, all I had to do was kill Soul Soul. Like, the but, URs but are like six cards? A thousand cards. Yeah. Seven if you're going for like the snatch steal and stuff. But yeah, that like goes back to my point. They just didn't want to craft SRs and URs because... Mm -hmm. Like, I know that I'm swimming in SR crafts, but not everybody is. I well, this, this was so many. I have forced me to clean out. SRs. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I hadn't done a clear out of my SRs yet. So this was like, all right, fine. I'll do some housekeeping and just, yeah. So I'm up to a few thousand now. Mm. I was like, hmm. Um, but yeah, they did have three decks uh, that were pre-conned for you. Uh, first was Onslaught of the Gears, which was just uh, the gadgets and some other random sort of staple cards. Gadgets in this format is wild as well. I like, had no issues beating this list. Yeah, yeah. I, Only when it, I play against playing this, I'm yeah, like, oh, win. Cool. Easy. It, I mean, sure. It's generating card advantage. It's just good to know that, hey, gadgets work does really the, nice Does the list have that. ultimate offering in it? No. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, there's a few times gadgets going off. I'm like, fuck, if that face down's ultimate offering, I might be in a bit of trouble here. They just don't know. Yeah. So they must be using that then. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so then <laughs> next one was uh, Power of Fusion, uh, which was bad. This is the one I chose to play. I didn't, just, like, well, I haven't played any more of it other than the three to get my pack. Um, but basically, um, it's running, like, yeah. Fusion Gay, King of the Swamp, and a bunch of, like, Fusion targety cards so that you can make, um, like, Meteor Black Skull Dragon right. and Meteor all of those. Well, yeah. I got to do a play today that I haven't done in years. It was, um, so I had Magician of Faith set, and, no, no, so I had... <laughs> what I have? <laughs> I know I had something set, and my opponent also just went like set pass, and I'm like, okay, uh, activate, uh, change of heart, take it. It was a magician of faith. I flipped it face up, took the took my change of heart back, tribute summoned thunder dragon, and then went metamorphosis into uh, reaper on the nightmare, and just started poking directly. It's like and ripper card, ripper card, ripper card, ripper card. It was great. Yeah, reaper's so good. Both of them. Yeah. Like, it's been so long since I've summoned Reaper on the Nightmare and just ripped my opponent to shreds. And then finally, uh, the last deck is uh, Black Flame Dragon Turbo. This caught me out at sometimes. Yeah. When it has like the, the constant spell negate, and I'm just like, hmm. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know if Exile forced <laughs> it out this. Yeah, it's always like Exile or just attack in. There's an, I've been in another weird way. Oh, just attack over with VLS. <laughs> the traps also. Oh, do job. that triggers me so hard. I just looked at the fucking um, list of it, and it plays My Body's a Shield at one. Yeah, because oh. I was because I was versing it, and I went to ring a destruction it, and he yeah, hard opened body. it. I was like, "You bitch!" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, who plays this? Like, it's great. I get it. It was literally fine. I, yeah, the was... turn before, I'd searched my two Thunder Dragons in Polly, so I just made Twin Headed mm. and punched over the um, level six. But I was like, how do you open this? Like, why are you playing this? Why, how did you know that I had this? <laughs> Fantastic format, though. No, it's I might enjoy great. it more. It's, it's made me really want to pull my goat back, back out and get it back up to standard. Because at the moment, it's like loosely, randomly sleeved. I'm fairly sure I've pulled out some stuff to fill out for ban list tournaments and things where I've been like, oh, I want to play my max rarity stuff. Do we want to stick to this one then? What? Use this as the, the template? Nah, we'll just use regular gold. Actual goat? Yeah. Like, that's already there. I'm just going to re-sleeve it. I was kind of keen to do gadgets. You can play gadgets. Yeah, oh, gadgets are... Are they, they not out they for us? No, they weren't out for us. They were out for them. But th that's what we're playing October 2004 in this. For OCG. OCG. Oh, we just didn't get the release for like another uh, year. In uh, 2007, I think that structure deck was. Jesus. Yeah, we didn't, we get, didn't get... We didn't get gadgets for ages. Three years? I thought it was in AST. <laughs> it's not? No. No, it's, um, it's, <laughs> in the, it was in that Machina gadget deck, that first one. Oh, okay. yeah. With um, the, the gear golem dragon. Gadgets were going to be too powerful for us. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I played gadgets in... actually hack. ridiculous. My, I didn't realise My Edison decks gadgets, so I, I don't have a, a hope to go back and play gadgets. Uh, but still in Master Duel, we have an upcoming ban list, as we do, because it's getting towards that time of the month. Uh, so this one's coming into effect as of the 8th, which I think is the Sunday? Mm. Yeah. Of course, we always get a YCS ban list on a Sunday. Yeah, it's just not the one that we're expecting slash hoping for. Um, hoping? So, me. Um, so, limited, we have branded opening, because Snake Guy is so powerful that Brandon needs a hit. Um, <laughs> semi limited pa parallel. Snake Eyes doesn't do anything in Yeah, it, it does, but it's not as it's not as fucked as it could be. That doesn't make it any better. Just because it's at a slightly lower ceiling doesn't mean that it's not stupid. Like it doesn't have Raging Phoenix for the OTK. Yeah, it will. Okay. It doesn't. But it will. Ah, eventually. But They'll hit the deck by the time we get Rescue Ace full it finished, and we get will will anything. will they? Yeah. Yeah. They released it early, so my thought is they're just going to keep it around as long as they can. Nah, not a chance. No, I reckon they will. Uh, based on this uh, ban list, I again reiterate this. Also, no bonfire. Again, that'll come soon. Let's play Master So, Wars. semi limited, parallel exceed, super heavy samurai soul piercer. I don't know which one that is. Is that the continuous searcher thingy? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And water enchantress of the temple. That went up to two, by the way. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then no longer limited, King of the Swamp and Prank Kids Meow Mew Mew. It's a bit scary having... Yeah. Prank Adventure. Yeah. Prank Adventure coming back is scurry. Yeah, it's fine. I decrafted it, I think. All is well outside. The Amanda's in an ambulance. Oh, that... Was it a legitimate thing? No, okay. No, no, he was just walking into the ambulance, apparently. Ah. Oh. Okay. Shots fired. Um, Not your towels on the balcony on that on the other line, right? No. Yeah, cool. Why is that? Yeah, it's fallen over. But not the other two close ones. No. Okay. No. We have. And that's, that's our update from outside. Yeah, we have a reporter <laughs> outside. Um, and then they've added in a new solo mode, which I know Bragg will very much enjoy, uh, <laughs> which is Cursed Golden Land. Yes, the sassy lord is here. Although they don't give you the sassy lord art in the um, precons. It's very. Bragg threw his back out. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Bragg does not have the this physical dexterity. This is the injury that's going to keep him yes. <laughs> Bragg does not have the physical prowess of the Golden Lord. He no. cannot lean back and put his leg up. <laughs> no. um, Getting some high heel boots. So for this one, the rewards are you do get 200 gems at the very end of it if you complete all of it. Uh, you get the Golden Lord icon. Yes. Uh, you get the uh, Eldritch, no, Eldritch's sleeves. Uh, and you get the uh, whatever the hell that is. Yeah, oh, so which is, that's um. So this is what in the law they're calling the philosopher's stone. Oh, but oh. it is very much a conch shell. Spoilers for the solo mode. So spoilers, yeah. It's okay. They no one gave so away the chamber of secrets. 
That's the oh, so it didn't quite happen the way I thought it did lost. in the law. It went backwards to the way I thought it happened in the law. Oh. Oh, well, well, no spoilers. Well, yes, spoilers. Tell me. Well, no, don't tell me. <laughs> Oh, we don't talk. I, I got so excited. There was law to be oh, said. You're called. You there was law. It. No, no, no. I want, no, I want to surprise ben! when I play it. Let, you're not going to play it. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do another video for it where you talk it through me while I just go. Uh... <laughs> Speak um, to fire, please. But yeah, um, conch, uh, philosoph philosopher's conch, that sounds dirty, <laughs> uh, is available as a mate. Oh, you can get your conch out. Yeah, get your conch out for the lords. If only if he was the mate just sitting there, that'd be sick. Jake didn't use the second C in that word. Yeah, he didn't. Cock. Cock. <laughs> Cock. Sounds vaguely French. Um, and then moving on to some OCG news, um, is a little bit of product news uh, that I thought uh, deemed interesting enough to uh, bring to the table today. So they're bringing out a product Indeed. called the Tactical Trier. Which is... Oh, sorry. I want to go back to Master Duel for a second. Uh, so, notoriously, my brain, uh, whenever I'm playing GOAT format, I knock on the table whenever I activate a Nobleman of Cross out. Because <laughs> it's knock. So I knock. Even when I'm activating my phone, I knock on my leg. Oh. So I activate it, knock on my leg, keep going. <laughs> There's things I want to say, but I can't say them here. I have a question to all <laughs> you viewers. Write your Yu-Gi-Oh tick in the description <laughs> down below, because... This is one that I didn't realise that I had. <laughs> Until you started knocking on your knee, and you're like, why is I had knee to, I had to knock on my leg whenever I activated it. I was like, activate, knock, knock. I don't know if I want to play Goat against you. This format, I, I also knock on the table. Hands on the phone, though. Sounds like that. Knock, knock. <laughs> anyway, uh, so this product is coming out on June 8th, and what it seems to be is... Um, <laughs> a pre-constructed deck of several different archetypes that you can just go out and buy. So it's a start deck. In, in effect, but they're not calling it that. They're calling it the Tactical Try decks. So the ones that they've announced so far are Cyber Dragon, uh, Evil Twin, and Elder Lich. Evil Heroes. I was going to go, we already got this product, Jake. No, just, come on. Is, uh, is it just their version of the, the Hero deck, the Legendary decks? That That's what it seems like, yeah. yeah. It'd be weird if they put these a... three into a box to sell to us, though. That was a product that they had never released. I, When you said evil, I thought you were going to say evil heroes, and I was like, they've just been given the legendary decks. Nah. Uh, so, um, so they're reporting that these can be played straight out the box at real-world um, level. Um, so can a structure deck. Um, That's a real-world level. Affordable price range. Uh, they're currently priced at 1,100 yen. Hundred and fifty dollars. What for us? Eleven hundred. Eleven hundred yen. That's ten. Are you thinking eleven thousand? Eleven hundred yen. It's ten bucks. Ten bucks for three structure decks. No, no, each. Oh, that was pretty good. Well, yeah, thirteen bucks. Um, generic cards needed for duels can be used for building all sorts of other decks. It includes, it's saying, generic cards. So it's not just like. Hmm. So in effect, they are structure decks. But they're just not calling them structures. Will they be 3 3 3 3 3 ratios, or will you have to buy three of them? That's going to be the real question. That is the real question. However, they haven't released lists for any of these as yet. Um, each of them seems to come with 50 cards. Are they a are these are AE, not Japan? Or Japan? Are they no, Japanese? no, no. This is a Japanese OCG product. Okay. Um, so each one. Cards. You can't play those in the real world. So, yeah, it comes with 50 cards. Uh, one of them is Ultra, and the rest are common. Cool. Okay, sure. Back, back to the way it used to be. Well. Missing two supers, but... Yeah. So it's an interesting product. I wonder if they would ever bring something like that here. Shouldn't we include... I mean... I uh, insist again. We already have this here. Fuck it off. Did you not like those? I thought they were good I product. brought them every year. <laughs> but like... <laughs> but I don't want them anymore. That was just because I was a scrub. Sure. Yeah. I bought those legendary dragon decks to be like, ha ha, finally I can play this deck and what were the dragon never ones? played it. Uh, legendary dragon decks you bought because it was the only way to get the Dark Magician hand trap. Sorry? Do you know the Dark Magician girl retrain? Do you like when you oh, attack, the you discard something? Apprentice. Like, yeah, the card you just don't play anymore in Dark Magician. I mean, yeah. 
But I bought three of those decks just for three of those because I was like, I'm going to play these in my Dark Magician list. Never, ever played them, ever. The more products we directly copy from the OCG, the better, but I doubt it. I don't know. I like the idea of it. I don't know if those three specific decks would work. Maybe uh, Evil Twins because we haven't had a great deal of those reprinted at any point and it could be an excuse for them to print the alt arts. When we get the branded lore collection... Well, they haven't announced that for the TCG, but they have for the OCG, as we saw on a stream not we, long ago. We're going to get that just like we got the number collection. I actually, if like, impromptu uh, Discord question, which we'll get to shortly. Um, sure. If there was an OCG product that came over, I would specifically want the law books in English. Okay. Because I legitimately find that kind of stuff interesting. And, like, every so often they'll release, like, those, um, like, draft illustrations. Like, they'll just sort of put them out online. Put those in there as well. It just doesn't seem like that's the kind of thing that you can mass market. I mean, they bring out a lot of stuff you can't mass market. Like, that fucking awful hero map. Oh, so you're going to play the set of two-player structure deck? The kids it. watch the anime on TV and they go, yeah, this. Oh, yeah, all those heroes in Rush Tool. Nah, uh, they still play, replay old shit. Where? On um, nine go, oh perfect. Mm -hmm. Nine can go fuck themselves. <laughs> I have to really appreciate, like the only time that... <laughs> the only time I ever get to have a midday nap is when I put old school Yu Gi Oh on <laughs> midday nap. Yeah, because I'm <clears throat> not invested enough to put up with the ads, so I fall asleep. Whoever programs Go is an actual genius. Yeah, like it is the only quality television channel ever. Yeah. No offense, other affiliates. What about Nine Gen? No, need, it's too inconsistent. <laughs> we're not. We, we can't get into. I can talk about this for days. That's good. It. We need to fill time. <laughs> Do we? No, we don't. Off we go. Wait. So, are you saying we're already at the the questions? Yeah. God damn it, Jake! He's forgotten YCS. He forgot the team YCS. Oh, the results. team YCS. The uh, finale. Did you not talk about this? No, we didn't talk well, about the finale. We, well, we, yeah, oh, we the finale. Uh, lots of it was Snake Eyes. The end. Religious people have done too much. They have damaged the fabrication of Yu-Gi-Oh. We can no longer swear. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh darn. Can't say conch. Yeah. Or whatever Jake said before. Because he definitely did, didn't say conch. I definitely said it in French. Le con. Okay. Oui, oui. Definitely replace the... Yeah, the yeah, sound with the, the team. No, no, no. I'd, I'd just be ruined if they bought... I mean, I guess there is swearing rules. Bro, I'm gonna swear the moment I'm on stream. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't think what he said should count. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this, what he said should not count. That's a bunch of pearl clutching Americans being like, ah. Um, but something that I found of interest after watching MST TV's discussion about YCS deck list submissions, um, they had more people at that YCS reject stream matches than ever before. Oh. Uh, any reasoning? Well, considering you have to request to be on a stream match to then have it offered to you for you to then reject, one would theorize that you've given an incorrect deck list and don't want to be shown having that happen uh, on the stream to then be uh, ruled against. Also, we completely glazed over this and I find it hilarious. You were watching MBT? MST. No, they're all the same. No, no he's, he was the commentator for the YCS. Nah. Uh, if MBT commentated for a YCS, I would kill Jerome. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure we had a few with MST at once. Is that a threat, Jerome? Well, some of us. Yes. No. You have said, is, if this happens, I will murder this person. That is textbook threat. Well, that's not a threat. <laughs> hey, Jerome, it's, it's, it's a, a promise. <laughs> it's a joke. Well, it's not <laughs> for legal reasons. <laughs> Well, if they don't put MBT, like, if they put MBT, like, it's, you can't be held accountable for that. You gave them a simple rule. That's not a threat. It's a warning. <laughs> Again, like I said, it's not a threat. It's a promise. Uh, yeah, it's, he goes all right. So, that is a pretty good reason why you would possibly consider that. Yes. Why you would ask to be on stream and then four rounds later be like, nah, sorry, actually, no. <laughs> Mmm. Sus. But the question I have is how do you mess it up? Uh, people putting the incorrect Kirin, people putting the incorrect Runix. 
Um, See, this this has only been an issue, right? Yep. Or at least a w- widespread issue since Neuron was brought in. Or so the issue is that drag and drop does not always work on Neuron. You have to click the card. Hit the plus sign, make sure it's correct. I thought this would be nefarious. I thought this would be people just adding stuff to their decks. Could be. Mid-tournament. Could be. We're just full of accusations this afternoon. These are just theories. (laughs) In theory, Jerome will expire. (laughs) (laughs) If MVT was to be given a platform. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, otherwise, the team... the, they really did now the coverage of... It's hard to say now, but... It was good. It was a good show. I The one thing I didn't like, or at least I didn't notice that they were doing like they did in other 3v3s, was switching between the tables yeah. mid-round. Yeah. I feel like the last time they did a stream of a 3v3, they had intentions, at least, of focusing on one player. But from they must have had the ability to be able to switch over because, like, yeah. I think the player they decided to focus on in one of the ones I watched was just getting absolutely dumpstered. And they're like, yeah. this is not fun to watch. Let's move over here. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't remember that happening at this YCS. Oh, uh, less switching? Uh, yeah. It was I more... suppose it's because it's all snake eyes and none of it's interesting. Yeah, I didn't see it switch, I didn't see it switch mid-match, but I saw it, like, if, one, if the match on stream ends early, they did... Okay. Switch later. Okay. Like, especially in the final where you kind of have to or else you go and... Oh. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was good. It was good. And I think all of them were mic'd up pretty well so you could hear everyone. It kind of gets a bit confusing who's talking at times. But... I don't know mm. why they got them all mic'd up. Well, I think... It's almost like that's the reason why they had to give out game losses for... Uh... Also, the, the situation surrounding that game loss were fucking stupid. Heckin'. So... Oh, I don't know. Am I getting streamed right now? No. Um... it's probably... The, uh, he- yeah, Hecken would probably also get you done. No, what do you mean? It's probably on the list. Otherwise, all words. the dogs on TikTok will get banned. Because they did a Hecken bear boozle. Okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Jake just showed the fact that he's a middle aged mum. Well, um, one of those. I have no idea what he's talking about. Anyway, um, so he received the game loss in the next match, by the way. He didn't get a game loss then and there. They gave him a game loss for the final. It's because not... the Puritans that were watching it had to send a carrier pigeon over to the judges' table to yeah. explain their complete dismay at the phrase goddamn. It's just like, I'm going to make an Australian reference, but it's just like the, the skit on the chases when like, the guy furiously writes a letter to the ABC whenever like, why, anything's oh, offensive. Why? Some of you at home will get that. Anyone not living in this country will not get that. But it is worth Googling. Good. The chase is war and everything. They so once good. smuggled Osama Bin Laden into a G20 summit. <laughs> so good. It was great. Uh, all six decks in the top two were Snake Eye. Yes. yes. A couple of them were How very interesting. Various, and there was, there was one flu in top eight, I'm pretty sure. And then otherwise, all the others. So there I was have... Voiceless Voice. They really wanted oh, you to know sorry. there was Voiceless yeah. Voice. They were like, guys, there's Voiceless Voice here. Don't worry. Sorry, I just lost. <laughs> um, so we I have... swear at one game at some point. So it looks as though we have... Uh, I don't know what this is a breakdown of. I'm assuming this is... We did like... cover the day two lists last week. Oh, this this little pie graph? Uh, we, we had a list, but sure. I mean, if you've covered it... How it many decks are there? Yeah, uh, what do we got? Uh, let's just call those one, because it's the same. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 10 individual decks, and then 6% other. Oh, then I think this is the same list that I covered. Yeah. Very cool. diverse and fun meta. Yeah. It's fun. Nope. I'm having a lot of fun. We'll there, get to that in a minute. There's definitely games where I'm having fun, and then there's other games where the three hand trap thing, where it's like... Or they have three or three extenders, where it's like, it's either way. Where it's like, ugh. Questions? Yes, we move on to questions. If you weren't aware, link is in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. He even said like... last week. He tried. No, no. I, I, mean, was, I, was, I was listening. It was well, close. Well, I wasn't. <laughs> no, <laughs> you did a separate plug later, and he's like, yep, link's still there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, it was nice to not be on a podcast for a little while, just to listen and see how it all happens while I'm not there. Um, <clears throat> we love you, Harry. So, uh, first question this week comes to us from uh, Frozen Actoline or Ace. Actually, I got shipped from um, Acetylene. It's acetylene. Frozen Acetylene. What is Acetylene? I'm going to Google this. The shit, you put a blowtorch. I'm not the fireman. <laughs> Slowly Google. Like, this is. I probably can't spell it either. Anyway, like uh, Frozen Acetylene asks Would you consider the current format to be a T0 format? Yes. Yeah. No. What the fuck do you mean, no? Well, Vikings, it's that guy's a difference. Voiceless voice is there. <laughs> okay, Jerome. But 70%. It's right there. 70% <laughs> represent, hey, like, like, that, that thing, if it hits 27 on the top 32. Which it has. Well, I think it's a, yeah. It's very much a tier zero. Voiceless voice is right there, guys. Yeah. Well, it's not a 100%. No, but it's there. Okay. So it's T1. We Nothing is T2. Voiceless voices T3. <laughs> with birds and. Hallway birds. <laughs> oh, I didn't understand why you'd done this action for birds. <laughs> but, yeah, no. it was your fault. <laughs> no, it was you your made fault. them fly it, south. It was your fault for handing them west, to me. You should have known better. Well, it's a little bit tilted. Well, for us, to fly north for the winter. Because in America, on movies and everything you've ever seen, they fly south for the winter. Oh, yeah. That's why. God damn it. And if they're oh, on the equator, man. they fly west. <laughs> now we fly to Perth. Perth. Or Orange. That's uh, cold but, in the winter. But yeah, anyway, um, back to yeah. the question. Oh. Yes, it is a tier zero format. If you aren't playing a fire deck, your chances of winning are much, much higher, harder. Um, and yeah, there's not a lot that counters it other than other fire decks. How do they get to this? How do they find the secret source of making this and not having it be some crazy ass gimmick or new gimmick? Well, it kind of is the continuous yeah, spell. Four I mean, yeah, layers of consistency monsters. support with the ability to disrupt. Yeah, that'll be about, that'll be about it. To be fair, like the end water, if you're going pure fire, is not that oppressive. No, it's the other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much how people explain tier format boards as well. But tier format, you can lose to yourself harder. Like, yeah, I mean, you can, yeah, you, can you make just get win. unlucky. Yeah. But again, there was, that's what you counter, want. You want there was form back. counters in the tier format. Exo was a hard counter, Bistial was a hard counter. Exo didn't do shit. What do you mean? No, it was only Bistials. I'm oh, sorry, how many Exo sister top Bicius? I mean, we can look it up if you like, but none. Why not look it up now? Oh, I could tell you none. <laughs> not, a, not a single top. Uh, there was a few regional tops. Flounderies. Flounderies was a counter, yes? Yeah, Flounders. Well, the... guess what's a counter right now? Yeah, but it's not a good counter. It wasn't a good counter then either. <laughs> what do you mean? It had a barrier statue. Did it? Yes. I don't think it did. It did. Did it lose barrier statue before? I think it didn't have barrier statue, otherwise I would have just played it. No, we definitely had. Did barrier it have barrier statue? statue? Yeah, of course we did. <sighs> when was it banned? God knows. Next question, Jake. Next question is from 6R6 with Oceana uh, Oceanatics. <clears throat> I'm really struggling today. <clears throat> it's Oceanatics. The town. With Oceanics being announced in New Zealand again, do you think having a commentary team factored into the decision to change the previous two to one Australia to New Zealand hosting ratio? I don't really understand. I don't understand. So New Zealand has their own inbuilt commentary team and is willing to do their own commentary. Like they have already pre-sorted. They're fantastic guys. They sometimes watch the podcast. I will do commentary at Oceanics if you guys get me on there. Um, yeah. I mean, you've already voiced the fact that you don't want to play. Yeah, I don't want to play, but the issue is that I don't want to go. Um, yeah. But you could claim it as a I don't think that this is factored into... Give them a watch, yes. Yeah, I don't think this is factored into the fact that that's the reason why it's there, is because they have a commentary team. But it is convenient. At least we'll get commentary. We didn't have commentary for Brisbane, did we? No. Was that the last, the last event to have coverage was New Zealand Oceans? 
Probably, yeah. God damn it. It is so pathetic. Because there is infinite numbers of people, not just us, but like so many different people that would 100% put their hands up and be like, yes, we will do coverage. We can do this. It, and it's not even a question that's asked. It's just like, oh, no one's interested in Australia. We don't have the budget. We're just not going to do it. It is bizarre. And we only get one YCS a year. Like, the game's one. getting more and more popular. And, like, coverage in other countries is getting, like, huge. And for us, it's just like... I'm sorry, guys. I don't see why they just don't... Even if it... I don't see why they don't send out a... I just film it. And then run it through production at your own time and then just do a stream like it doesn't have to be live you can just do a, a trim down stream just content for content's sake i've often did this before yeah like like it does make you feel just a little bit shit as an australian player that like konami doesn't give a fuck about your event they, like we're first, only just getting Pokemon like a locked in um yeah, they cut up the time Pokemon. wizard because we complained about it for years. Is it locked in? Yeah, it's been posted as the event thing. Yeah. No, but like, what is the time was it? They've said. Edison. What is it? Edison. Edison. <laughs> it would be good. Mm. But also, <laughs> no, I mean, then again, all the stuff that's locked, I mean, there was Saturday stuff locked in, and they've since said that like, they're not doing that, so anything could The change. same thing's going to happen that happened last year, where they're like, we're doing Edison, guys. They get there, and they're like, time to register for Edison, and everyone in the room goes... I want to play a different format. And then there's like three people that want to play one, four people that want to play another, and then like the judges have to be like, well, if you can get eight people, we'll run. So I can understand if like they scrapped it based on the fact that that happens, mm. because that would just be the player base being stupid. Yeah. But then other things like we don't get prize wall. We don't. No. Like that would be fantastic. Mm. It makes money. Do I grind winter mats? Maybe. If they've got good mats, I'll enter a couple. I want that pot of greed mat. We won't get the pot of greed mat. No. I just want to so. make that clear right now. We're not getting that pot of greed mat. No. Not a chance. No chance at all. Although, if they make the same stuff up that they did last year, where they have, like, planned 80 or so winter mats and they only brought 10, I'm going to be pissed. What? They ran out of winter mats... Oh, so did. quickly. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I oh, had yeah. just was... gotten, well, I'd yeah. just gotten taken out of the giant card. Went to go enter for a winner mat, and they're like, "We're out of mats." Here we are. Welcome. Looking forward to Yoshi's though. Next question, Jake. Next and last question is from Six R Six as well. What is the minimum number of cards in a deck before you can call it a package? And how does it? How does the package need to be? Now, how big does the package need to be before it shares <laughs> naming rights? Or does it more depend on the combo line for the naming rights? From memory, I don't think the package gets naming rights. I think the deck box gets naming rights. <clears throat> um, I don't know. I think it should be shared. No, no. Because the deck box can't get full without the deck. Or the package. It it depends. You know, sometimes the deck box needs some assistance getting open. And it's at that time then you can call it a deck. You can call it deck whatever you want. Like, but, that's, that's when we end up with, like, hat format. But then... So... So then if the deck box gets filled by the package... Yep. And then the package leaves. Yep. Like, does the deck just sort of float around? Like, where where does the deck go? No, like, you still keep, like, 75% of the deck. You just change, like, the ending of the deck. Four for a package, seven for the engine naming rights. No, no, I think, I think you need to be, like, at, like, 14 to get naming rights. No, but if you have, like, 777 seven, seven <laughs> and then hand traps, you would call it the... The three together? Yeah. Yeah. So, to take the question seriously for a second. Um, you weren't taking it seriously? No. Uh, I think, like, I think it depends on the end state of the board as to when you can classify it as a package. Because if you're just running, like, random sprite stuff to then just link climb into something else, like, it's just a extender engine in effect. I wouldn't then call it sprite. Instead, it gets called sprite. But whatever gets you there is whatever. 
No, but you like, can't. if you're just running the sprites as extenders, then it's actually like heavily melfy. Do we call it Strike Raucous? In Lights One, you would. It was Strike nah, Raucous, nah. yeah. Even though it was two engage drones and a few anchors. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And on that shocking bombshell. That does end us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Um, what should our poll be this week? Uh, what was what the poll result for last week? Uh, I I don't know. I guess when I put it up, the timing... Look, by the time this poll went live, uh, everyone had listened. So no one, did, no one answered the poll. Okay. Anyway. So it's a dead heat. This <laughs> week. Make sure to comment below... At the very least, what your Yu Gi Oh ticks are. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll oh, yeah, the Yu Gi Oh ticks. Yeah, we're yeah. going to do Yu Gi Oh ticks. No, no, we can do. Oh, no, that's, that's more questions. Yeah, so yeah. put the answers to your Yu Gi Oh ticks in, in the, the in... video discussion on our Discord. In the comments, video discussion, and or the brightest on Spotify thing, and then the poll will be what constitutes an engine or a package. Jake's tick is to go with his hand. I don't think he's that bad. I mean, no, he does the de- he does the deck I, I every, tend every to do that a lot. Single comment on his matches like this guy again, sick. <laughs> I'm just like, bro. The hand shuffling is neither here nor there. The the deck thing, I noticed. Hmm. Will you do that for designator then? No. You go point. You just point at them. And you go cross. <laughs> cross. Cross. Are you playing one or three? What, does he? Cross. None. Huh. Yeah. That's not fun. But anyway, um, thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you're wild, uh, listening on If you're Spotify. wild? If you're wild. <laughs> if you're wild, let us know. God damn. Um, Jake if wants you to party are... off to YCS. <laughs> Out of here. If you are... <laughs> During YCS. Listening Before to YCS. us on Spotify, feel free to favourite. If you're watching on YouTube, like, subscribe, jump to the Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week. Oh. Um, he did say you get pissed at YCS. Oh, I'm getting fucked. Um, we'll oh. see at YCS. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, keep an eye out on the Discord as well. Like, we'll yeah. organise the... Yeah. yeah. The, uh, location for the pod. Yeah, the impromptu meeting. I'm going to do random interviews throughout the weekend, so if you want to get interviewed for the podcast, come find me. Yeah, you can be like those people on TikTok and come up with the tiny mic. Yeah, I'll have the tiny mic. I'll be like... So, YCS, innit? <laughs> yeah. All right, catch you then. Peace.